How absolutely wonderful is that? It's a sunflower, isn't it? But look where it is. That's the wonder. Isn't it? It's just decided to grow. Where life decides to grow, take hold, it will. Shocking. Saw it in a paper, 54, heroin paraphernalia found on his kitchen table. I've seen him in everything, this fella. Yeah, I don't put the TV on, never do. But I must have seen him years ago when I used to put the TV on. Uh, maybe, I think the newspaper read it in. I think it's Monday the following week, so the paper I'm reading is six days old. I read it back to front the newspaper and it's on one of the front pages notifying of his death. Uh, what I do is when I go when I go home, I've only found out about two hours ago. I uh, still haven't returned home yet, I've got the paper in my bag. What I will do is when I return home I'll photograph the article and I'll put it in the edit here. Perfectly healthy as well, look at this. Look. It's got little buds there. It's got little the little growers there. Look, it's thriving, see, it's thriving. Isn't it? It's perfectly happy, isn't it? Dare I get any closer? Ooh. I think the picture they used is one of him as, as a younger man. I mean, that's why I recognised him straight away when I was in the cafe, sitting there with just nursing a cup of coffee. Turn the page over, recognise the guy straight away. And then I read the little article which you can see, which you've just seen in the edit. Tiny little article, but it was noticeable, a noticeable article. Myself that, and I thought to myself, I was just warming to come to the end of the paper when I saw that article. Absolutely speechless, speechless. I, I still am. It's about two hours later now since, like I say, I've still not returned home yet. The last, the last, uh, it was Bob Geldof's daughter was the last junkie to be reported in the paper. Last famous person, last famous junkie to be reported in the paper, which I uh, did a video about for the channel. It was her, it was, was it Peaches Geldof? Shocking. They, they think they can get away with being a recreational heroin user. You know, 
There's no such thing as a recreational heroin user, heroin addict. There's no such thing, because this is what happens to you. This eventually what is what happens to you. Swallow you. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. A menacing would that be? Vortex. After about 10 years of becoming a prisoner in your own home, this will happen to you. You'll be found dead for your family to discover you and to find and to discover on investigation said heroin paraphernalia on the kitchen table. It was in Peaches Geldof's, Peaches Geldof's case. It was, uh, it was underneath her body, wasn't it? She was found actually leaning over. Uh, the said paraphernalia. She'd literally just taken, broken off the uh, cord that she used a belt, was it? Uh, and it was her pair of women's tights, I believe. She literally had released that on her arm and she had overdosed immediately, hadn't she? Being found, lurched right over. She hadn't even, she hadn't even unfolded her leg from beneath her when she was found. Yeah, recreational heroin addicts. Yeah, yeah, there is such a thing, yeah. I say that because my driving instructor said, um, when I was last with him, he said he was telling me about someone who he had read about as being a recreational heroin user. And I, I didn't say to them, didn't say to my driving instructor, that's bollocks, there's no such thing. I didn't say that to him. I just, I just didn't like to, didn't like to. But there is no such thing. There's no such thing because there's nothing recreational about being a heroin addict. The only reason why, the only reason why alcohol, you can be a, a recreational user of alcohol, is because it's not so debilitating on the body. That's the only reason why. Because it, it doesn't, like, knock you out straight away within, like, five seconds, get me, right? It's the only reason why, you know, you can have recreational addicts of other drugs. Not of heroin. Not of heroin. Because of the nature of the drug. There's no such thing. No such thing. And if someone wants to try and tell you that they are, and that there is, then bollocks. Absolute. <sighs> bollocks. It's so... Overwhelmingly debilitating the drug is. Um, overwhelmingly so. Unless you've been using it for about 40 years and, be, and, and actually uh, got away all your life with enablers left, right, and centre around you, then there's no such thing as recreational heroin use because you'll be found still in your prime, in your own home, by your, by your children, by your grandchildren, by your wives, by your spouse. Like I say, still in your prime, right, for your family to discover your paraphernalia everywhere on on examination of the scene. Your paraphernalia everywhere, right. but that's the debilitating effect. Of heroin it completely washes out all reality to the user, and they just don't think of it. Holding on two months later. And they just don't think of any consequence whatsoever. They just don't. The drug does not allow the addict to. Um, sorry, I'm all straight in my words now. That's because I'm getting all wound up by it. Um, just Yet another person, celebrity in their prime, found dead due to an overdose of heroin. Yet another one. Yet another one. 
It's just completely shocking. It's just completely shocking. 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 Yeah. Michael K. Williams. Just on discovering now. Um, another death due to an overdose of heroin. Another one. Who else? Who's going to be next? Uh, just overwhelmed by the news. I am completely overwhelmed by it. It's the most beautiful thing. Is nature the most beautiful thing you could ever see? Beautiful. Not beautiful, most beautiful thing. Just decided to take hold, hasn't it? Just absolutely overwhelmed by the news. I just recognised his face straight away. Uh, it said in the article, like you've just seen it there in the edit, that he was in a TV show called The Wire, I believe, it said in the text. I don't ever recall watching The Wire, but I do remember his face. It doesn't say any other show. I think it says uh, The Wire and mentions one other show, perhaps. I never watched them years ago when I did watch telly. Yeah, I do distinctly remember the guy's face. I do. I do. I do. I do. I just knew, I recognised his face straight away, immediately, before I even started reading the article. Yeah, over and out. Over and out. Terrible news. Terrible. Just the way, it's the worst kind of news. It's just the worst kind of news you can find in the front pages of the newspaper. It's just the worst. Over and out. That's a way, doesn't it? Life finds a way, don't we? We find a way, don't we? Shame.